uh, what got you out here? Uh, the abuses of the federal government on these people's rights. And the fact that I've seen this country falling apart for a long time. And uh, a lot of people standing up in other ways, but this, this is severe. This is severe. The state sovereignty has been invaded. These people's lives are at risk. I've seen a lot of things happen in this country that the federal government has overstepped and murdered innocent people. And without us here right now, I truly feel like that's the exact situation we'd be dealing with. Another Ruby Ridge, another Waco, and we just can't have that. What um, what gave you that impression that it was that severe? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it was the uh, helicopters with the machine guns. They were murdering cattle. The, uh, it's calving season. There's baby cattle. And this was all over to save tortoises. And uh, it's just... Well, so they say. Teams on the ground 200 snipers, snipers on the pointing rifles at children and women. Uh, the, the, the BLM teasing. Tasing women and sicking German shepherds on women? I mean, what, is, what has happened in this country? Like, seriously. You know? And you feel like you have to be here. I feel like I have to be here. I got an 11 year old daughter at home. I got a dying grandmother. I've got a family. I've got a girlfriend who's really unhappy. I left on her birthday. I left Thursday night. Her birthday was Friday. My girlfriend. Uh, so and you're not getting paid uh, to be out here. No, I, spent, I, had, I, I make $100 an hour as a tattoo artist, and I blew out $1,500 of work this weekend. And spent whatever I had to spend to be here, but that's not the issue. No, nobody okay? gets paid if, for if, this. If we don't, if we don't, uh, if, well, I'll tell you, those BLM agents were getting paid. Yeah, they yeah, were getting. Yeah, paid they, oh, they, they were getting paid large to violate someone's yeah. rights, and we get to, you know, lose our pay, spend time away from our. Family. And you pay. Yeah, we paid to get here. I know it cost me, and uh, I traveled in with Christian Yangling. He's a commanding officer for Pennsylvania Lightfoot Militia. Uh, traveled here, you know, 2,200 miles with me. Uh, this has cost us each, you know, several hundred dollars in our own personal funds. Which of course, you know, there's no reimbursement for. It's cost us time at work, yeah. cost us time with our families. But uh, family overall, at the end, that, that is what's important. If we don't stand up for what's happening here, our families and kids aren't going to have a free country to live in. I agree. And as far as I, it, 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 while I breathe air, my daughter will have her rights the way I had them. And that's it. So, how many hours did you drive to get here? Uh, I left on Thursday at 8 p.m. I got here last night at 6. And I didn't stop at a hotel, I stopped for gas, that's it. It, it was about 42 hours for us. 42 hours about of drive time. And you're well armed, I see that. Because Always. they're well armed. Well, you have to be. One of the uh, perceptions of uh, militia is that they're, um, I mean, you know how they're... Well, I know how the Patriot Depicted in the, in, the, like in the media as, as uh, American Al-Qaeda, you know, as yep, how know. militias are depicted. Yep. You know, let, let me explain something for a moment. They want to depict us as the terrorist, as a right-wing extremist. If I could give you the definition of terrorism, terrorism is the act of coercing the public into making, you know, saying, doing what you, what you wish them to do by use of force, threat of force, or other coercion. Intimidation. Intimidation tactics, that is terrorism. There is no such thing. There, there is no terrorism involved in you know a bunch of patriots coming together in defense of a family, in defense of our rights. That is not terrorism. That's the American spirit.